I've done a lot of research at the Mary. It's a great place to try innovative techniques. The Mary offers things that um, we find no other facility does. It's the closest model to a live patient that you can have. Each year, more than 5,000 physicians from across the U.S. and more than 26 countries around the globe travel to Memphis, Tennessee for training and research at the not-for-profit Medical Education and Research Institute, or MARI. But what is this place that has played such a key role in groundbreaking medical innovations since it was founded in the mid-1990s? The MARI is based upon two very important and interrelated endeavors. The first is to teach new techniques, uh, typically surgical techniques, to postgraduate physicians. Now Mary's second uh, endeavor, interrelated to the teaching endeavor, is research. And in particular, research in, in new procedures, new surgical techniques, new devices. In the next few minutes, you'll see how the Medical Education and Research Institute proves that we learn by doing. Mary's 27,000 square foot facility in the Memphis Medical Center District includes three anatomical teaching laboratories, seven training and research suites, and an expandable 50 seat lecture auditorium. The majority of the school's core courses are designed for surgeons performing minimally invasive procedures in the fields of orthopedics, neurology, head and neck, ENT, GYN, and vascular procedures, along with those who specialize in pain management and interventional radiology. And I brought those two lines together, and then I added just a hair more superior. The prestigious American Association of Neurological Surgeons chose the Mary to be its learning center featuring workshops for practicing neurosurgeons and resident neurosurgeons in training. These workshops uh, are, have been developed over the last four years in particular, and they would include uh, areas of spine, endovascular, applying interventional techniques for vascular problems, in pediatrics for specific devices that can be used in pediatrics, and in skull-based surgery. I'm looking for the, the lateral sure. wall, but I need to just get it. Some who train at the Mary say its operating rooms are second to none when it comes to equipment. And that provides a realistic training ground for residents. It used to be how we taught residents how to operate was see one, do one, teach one. You can't do that anymore. Um, at least I don't want to be the uh, first uh, gobbler that someone takes out. So you have other options. You can teach residents uh, in an uh, inanimate box trainer or virtual reality trainer. It's not the same thing as operating on actual tissue. Another key component to the Mary facility is the use of unembalmed anatomical specimens, which experts say provides a more realistic venue for testing new techniques and devices. These bodies donated in the name of science are part of Genesis Legacy of Life, a unique donor program created by Mary. One of the things we pride ourselves upon here at the Mary is the way we treat our donors. The patient is prepped and draped so that only the surgical area or the area of anatomic interest is exposed. And this is all done using identical techniques to what are used in an OR. That makes the Mary a popular place for researchers and technicians associated with companies that develop and manufacture medical devices and implants and teach the techniques for using them. If you look at the who's who of medical device companies, they almost all utilize the Mary for their research. And they do it because it's a great facility, it has a great location, and they do it because when they come here, they leave knowing they got tremendous value out of their day's work. What sets the Mary apart from other facilities is the, the staff and that they listen. They, they listen to our needs, they work with us to design things that meet our requirements for our surgeon consultants, both on an educational and a developmental basis. And because doctors have busy schedules, making it hard to get away from their practices, Mary can go on the road and take its laboratory experience to off-site locations throughout the continental U.S. We use the on-site services from the Mary, like the Mobile Mary, quite often um, in cities like Boston and San Francisco. They've even turned us on to hotels and locations that work well with that service. So we have uh, actually got our training locations and things with help from the people at the Mary. 
We are able not only to go off site now, but we have just added uh, a new capability here at the Mary where we can do video conferencing, which allows us to broadcast live surgeries right into our auditorium so that our student physicians can actually sit and watch a, a procedure being done and then they can go down into our lab and actually practice hands-on what they just saw. And that really reinforces that training experience. In addition to enhancing patient care and medical technology through education and research, the Mary has become a key player in the burgeoning biotech sector in Memphis. To develop a product takes not just one mind. It takes engineers, it takes physicians, and it takes marketing people as well to make a product that's successful and usable. The Mary actually is used to doing that. That's kind of what they do. They have done that in multiple different fields. The fact that the Memphis biotechnology sector is growing and will continue to grow, and Mary being right next to it, I think it's going to be a win-win situation for both the Mary and the Memphis biotechnology field. For a facility that has been in existence only since the mid-1990s, the Mary has already touched countless lives around the world and promises to touch countless more. In fact, uh, we've developed a flow model for vascular uh, cases at the Mary in which we can actually simulate arterial blood flow to help with uh, vascular procedures and endovascular procedures like stents. We use it for education of surgeons, education of employees. We use it as an pr uh, area to uh, prove out product, concepts, ideas and we use it also to educate the, the surgeon and nursing staffs and, and to gain a better understanding of how to use the products in the surgical environment. There's no other way to teach complex surgical techniques if you cannot practice with your hands. It's the only way for a surgeon to truly get better. The Mary provides us with that opportunity. I absolutely cannot imagine not having the Mary. This is a key component to our business model and, and to our success going forward. Time and again, cutting edge techniques and technologies have been tested and proven at the Medical Education and Research Institute in Memphis by thousands of doctors, researchers, and medical equipment developers and manufacturers from around the world. The future of medicine is being discovered here every day. To learn how you can become involved, call the Medical Education and Research Institute at 1-800 360-6374 or go online to mary.org.